guys, it's Lucy Fink. I'm here with Liza Koshy, entertainer, performer, and all around hilarious human who just asked me if I was wearing a bra. Yeah, dude, and she's not. Fun fact. Yeah, let them puppies loose. You Don't know what I'm tell saying? anyone. I need the bra, otherwise, it looks like I have zero boobage. Yeah. Your nipple's more proportionate than mine is, though. My what ratio is... my ratio of boob to nipple is way off. Your nipples are larger. Yeah, my nipples are larger. Like melted You're Hershey's very open. kisses. Thank you. You're an open. Open book, an open baby. casket. Open, open casket. <laughs> that was awkward. I'm dead inside. <laughs> Today we are going to be playing this amazing game that I have here Ooh. called the Internet Slang Challenge. Whoa, what could it be? I don't know how much slang you know on the internet, uh -uh. but I am uneducated AF. Before we get into this, I just want to know if you've done any of these YouTube challenges before because there are like so many out there. Never hate YouTube. YouTubers suck. Got it. Yep. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Liza. Yes? What does the word gassed mean? Gassed? G-A-S-S-E-D. It's after you go to Chipotle and you have an extreme amount of intestinal pain um, from choosing black beans or pinto beans. There's two options. Um, the guacamole can also cause this gassed feeling. Um, that's what gassed means, am I right? Please use it in a sentence. Um, I am currently on camera feeling very gassed. <laughs> No. That is not right at all. <laughs> That's how I would use gassed. Yeah, see? But the term actually means when someone has had way too many compliments and it's fueled them to be full of themselves. Okay, I'm still gassed. It's my turn. Okay, ooh, I get to ask you. <laughs> Definery29, I'm coining this term. Define. Define the word. All right, the term, I think it's actually an acronym, is WOAT. W-O-A-T, what does that mean? WOAT? WOAT. Please give me a language of origin as well. I think it's like to write something down and forget the R. I <laughs> wrote it down <laughs> last night in my journal. Wow. Um, yeah, how don't, did I do? Don't ever try to wrote anything down okay. because you're very incorrect. It is the opposite of GOAT, the acronym for greatest of all time. Instead, this means worst of all time. And Got that definition. It. Worst of all time, won't. That definition was a won't. Okay, I would have maybe known that if I had known that goat meant greatest of all time, but I always thought a goat was an animal, so oh. zero for zero over here. Not a millennial. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. All right, your word, beat. B E A T. Beat. This is something that I know, okay? This is something that kids use every single day. It's a vegetable. Is a vegetable? I, it's B E A T, Liza, not E E. Oh, beet. Beet. It's a vegetable. Okay. Use it in a sentence, please. Pass the beets, bro. Okay. Wrong. <laughs> Zero for two over here. Beet means to have a full face of makeup, <gasps> but usually only if it's well done. See, I wouldn't know that because I never wear makeup. I'm just like an all natural kind of beauty. You're all natural. Yeah. The sentence is: I called my makeup artist to beat my face before prom. It's a little. Scary. It's a little scary. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. All right. <laughs> Is it my turn to ask you? It's your turn. Oh, God, yes. Ooh. Oh, I like this word. All right. Please define the word dank. Dank. I feel like I used this. Uh huh. I think it means like super amazing. So awesome. That was dank. It means what? really cool. You I use the word awesome. Are they not synonyms? I pretty much used the word correctly. Can you read me the sentence? All right, man. The trick that you did on your skateboard was really dank, bro. You got it right. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. All right. I have give one me. point. Give I'm me, the millennial roster. Okay. All right. Okay. Me next. All right. You might know this one. Oh. oh. All right. The word is Stan. S T A N. Stan. Stan, as in <laughs> like. The name Stan. Okay, I actually know this one. Stan, I don't know why it's called Stan, but Stan is like a super fan. But Got like, it. But like, but like, why is it Stan? Does it mean stupid fan? No offense. But like, why Stan? Well, the card doesn't actually explain why it's called Stan, but, wow. oh, it does. It does. Wow, she can read. It's, it's from Eminem's song, Stan. Stan. So yeah. someone was just a fan of that song and just made it a thing. I think that he sang in his song, Stan about a hardcore fan, and it just stuck. You are very educated. I hope to be The like sentence you. is, Lucy is a Justin Bieber stan. I really am. Are you? I'm standing right now. You're standing right now? Standing AF. Standing oh yeah, so she's hard. standing. Ooh, okay, please define the, okay, please define this acronym 
OTP. Got this one. OTP stands for one true pair. Oh. And it's used when you're talking about how you think two people should get together. Used in a sentence. Lucy and her boyfriend are OTP. I disagree with that sentence. Damn it. Your boyfriend kind of sucks. What is it? Um, no, it's actually one true pairing. 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 I was so close, Liza. I know, I know. All right, so, so instead you'd say, like, they would make a hell of an OTP. Yes. There you go. Do I get the point? She gets the point. She All gets right. the point. You get the point. Last All right, you have two points. You. I have none. Wait, you got one. Okay. You got standing. Oh, yeah, so, I did, uh, I did, you, I did. You can tie with me okay. right now okay. or you can lose. Okay. It's up to you. This next one's worth two points. Go for it. You're gonna get it. I'm gonna get it? The word is ship. <gasps> S-H-I-P. Titanic. This is, okay, ship is basically when you ship two people together. Like they look good in a package together, like UPS, and you ship them. It's like um, two people look good together, you appreciate their chemistry, um, they are romantically involved with each other. Um, yeah. Okay, that's, that's so the fact is you've gotten the definition right. Yes. It oh, is, use it in a sentence? It is, you, you do ship two people together. That yes. is how you use it. Yes. But the point of the word is that it comes from the term relationship. Oh my God. Mind blown. No, did not realize that at all. So you ship two people together when you want them to be in a relationship. So use in a sentence. I totally shipped Selena and The Weeknd before they became a couple. Okay, but see how it becomes a verb then? Like you're shipping them? Yes, you know? it can be used as many parts of speech. Okay, see, I've learned a lot today. Yeah, so I've, I've taught you something, you've taught me something, uh -huh. and we tied two to two. Two to two. Good hey, game, Liza. That was a good game. That was so fun. Hey, same points, same, same size. Points. We win here. We're twins. We're twins. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Refinery29. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. Click here to watch another video, and here to subscribe to R29 on YouTube. Bye.